Hey everyone, this is Chris Fate with Cheat the Game. Over a year and a half ago, I came out with a, a vid called uh, Dragon Age Inquisition uh, Calc Sheet, and where I made a calculation sheet based off an address of where you could find different attributes for your particular character. And I kind of made that for uh, people that's not really interested in game hacking, not really interested in coding or anything. Just something quick and easy that for that particular version that they could come out and, you know, get these extra addresses, you know, to increase stats or, or whatever. And it worked really well for a time. Now, at the time I made that vid, it was just up to version 3. Uh, that was the highest version you could get at the time. And there weren't no cheap. Uh, trainers out at that point in time so I kind of did that just you know just for people just to give them something quick and easy you know just to, just to have but I've gotten a lot of questions as time progressed on like I say it's been well over a year and a half ago when that vid was made and I keep getting requests almost on a weekly basis uh, you know it don't work for my version it don't work for my version well that's because you know when they come out with new updated versions these offsets these are all based off offset differences and basically that means the distance between each other there's one address over here that's your health and on down the line you know is an address maybe for your experience points you see what I'm saying so basically that's the distance between one address to the other address is the offset difference and these offsets change, you know, per update. Sometimes they change, sometimes they don't. You just don't really know until you just get in there and see. But today what I wanted to do is I wanted to show people, and I'm going to hook it with the other video of the couch sheet, that if people want to learn for their particular version how I made the couch sheet, that they can look up these things on their own. Now, I will say ahead of time, this was not an easy process, okay? This wasn't anything that, you know, I just sat down in five minutes and did. I worked over this on a period of days, okay? So, keep that in mind. I'm going to show you how you can quickly do it, just to get a, just to get a few addresses, and then I'll just let you take it from there. And uh, we're, we're just going to go from there, and I'll just see how this particular vid goes, all right? So, let me bring everything up, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we brought up the game, attached Cheat Engine to the game. And basically when I did the couch sheet, now I know I did the couch sheet based off your health address. And I'm going to show you how to do it based off your health address. However, when I looked up these values, your attributes, I actually used my experience address. Because it's the lowest address. I believe it was minus like 1050 via your health address. So I'm going to use the lowest address I, that I could remember, which was my experience. So what I did is I start my game over. I keep my other game saved somewhere and it's, it's saved all I have to do is just load it back up but uh, I started my game over just so I could come find experience and the reason that I started over is because your display codes will recycle once you go up a level they'll recycle back to zero however your internal code is still counting up so you can't really look it up exact value if you're on later in the game and went up a few levels so you'd have to use like an unknown search, which is why I recommend going back to the beginning of the game so you can find your experience, find your distances, and then you can go back to your regular game and use that information. All right. So let's go find our experience right quick. I know that um, it is on a float value. I have been keeping up with it from where I'm at right now. I have not gone up a level, and I think it's around between 100 and 150. So I'm going to do value between at a float value. And I'm going to do it kind of like between 100, and I'm just going to go one up from 150 because I'm just not sure of where it exactly is. Alrighty, so that's going to leave us a few addresses, So, but we'll find it rather quickly, so let's go to it. It's kind of the tutorial stage, so I need to kind of get past this right quick, so. And all we're really doing is looking for the experience to pop up here. I'm not playing the game. There it is, 130. All right? That's all we're looking for. So we're going to go to exact value 130. Like I say, you can only do it this way when you haven't gone up a level. If not... The display code is going to show like 130 or 140. However, your internal code has still been counting up the entire time. So, Alrighty, so we know at 130 we need to go up just a little bit more. So we 
just to weed some of these addresses down a bit. Now we're doing is looking for experience. That's it. Try not to die. Alright, it's up to 160. They're going to go exact value, 160. And we just left two addresses here. You may get more addresses. It may, uh, you may get a lot more display codes. You'll just have to uh, trial and error until you find your internal. The difference between display codes and internal codes is that the internal code always gives this information to all the displays. So whatever you turn your internal code to, that's what your display codes are going to be. Let's bring that down here and find out which one of these is the internal versus the display. I'm going to change one to, uh, let's say, 200 and one to 210. Let's go back to the game. And you see down here, our display code was the 9 and our internal code was this right here so this is the one we're going to be using when we go to our character record okay we need to use the internal code all right so let me get to a place where this is actually unlocked and I'll be right back with you I'm gonna leave the game running so as these addresses do change if you leave the game and reload up a new one these continue to change and we don't want to have to look this back up again okay so I'll be right back with you okay so right after you destroy the first rift uh, your character record becomes available so now we can do it and as you can see my internal have already gone up I've already went up a level and display codes have already recycled so it would be the best to try to find experience now after we've done went up a level because it won't give you accurate information on the display but you see all these values here now combat experience this is be the, I guess the best place to come look for it I didn't realize it showed the internal here so yeah I guess you could look up experience I, I'm just not sure how that works at later later levels I don't remember doing it so but no, it don't matter don't worry about it so what we're going to do is we're going to take our internal address and we need to find out what is accessing it if anything is accessing it let's go back to the game see if anything pops up and you see right here just go out and take a few swings and usually something will be monitoring it we see this right here RBX plus 30 is being moved into an XMM6 registry usually XMM registries are used as carrier registries and this is where our address is. Our address is RBX plus 30. So we come down here to look at the values of see what RBX is. So RBX we see is the base address of what our internal is right here. If you were to, this is the base, if you were to add, take a hex calculator and add 30 to this address, you'll get this address right here, which is our internal. So we know we need this right here. We're going to go directly to dissect data structure with this information. We got what we need to look up these other internal values. We're going to go ahead to the character record and we see all these different attributes, strength, dexterity, magic, cunning, but we want to look at these numbers 10, 11, 10, 10, a lot of tens. Down here we got uh, well, we got to go by percentage, so those will be a little harder to find. We just have to go mess around with some values and see if that changes anything. But main hand damage, off hand damage, we got a, just a specific number of 32. And we got all these others we can find as well. All that's going to be within that same RBX registry at this point in time. So that's what we're going to be looking at as that RBX registry. We're going to see all the different opcodes it's pointing to or excuse me offsets so what we want to do is go to tools in our memory view and we're going to go to dissect data and structures okay and we're going to paste in that base address we just copied this is our experience points minus 30 already alright and we're going to click on structures to find a new structure 
with yes and right here when this number pops up we need to increase the offset count I changed it to 15,000 because they are way on down these offsets get pretty high and if we come down here to offset 30 let's change that I, it, it got misinterpreted to a byte let's change that to float right quick and there we go we got it correct information change these from like sometimes that happens is that it just kind of misinterprets things but that's the correct we make sure that the value type is correct if you see something different make sure you change it to that value type and it'll be correct if you take a look at 30 you see 701 701 is indeed our experience so we want to go on down from there what are we looking for we're looking for those 32s we're looking for these 10s 11 and we're just going to see what we can find and basically it's a hunt and peck trial and error type thing that's why it took me a while to find these but I know rather quickly where you can find them and we came across one first you're going to look for float values these are all going to be on a float value so if you see a float and it's matching up more than likely it's one of these right here so what we're going to do is we're going to change it to something obscure like 999 all right we're going to go back to the game now you got to do a lot of you got to do a lot of walking around we got to make sure that it monitors that address so you just go out here throw a few swings around go back to character record and see if anything's changed boom look at that constitution so we found our constitution. So we can uh, click OK and we can actually add that address to the address list. You, do you see where I'm going with this now? We found constitution. Here's our XP. That's just a display code. We don't need that here. Okay. And this is how you would do it with the rest of them you just go through let's go through and see if we can see what else we can see we're looking for remember our numbers we're looking for tens 11 32 all right now you can click find but that, that's going to take you to obscure places i just prefer to search manually here's another float 10 right here see that at 2b8 let's click that one and see if that changes anything Let's go back. Let's screw around a bit. Just kind of move around a little bit. See if that's changed anything. Oh, look at that. That's our strength. So we come back here. And we just label that. If I can spell strength. And we can add that to the address list that's what I and that's what I did and I just kept going down 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 changing stuff and finding it now we found our strength later on we're going to be using our hex calculator which is uh, standard you just click view go to programmer and just like in the other vid we find our health address and then we just start subtracting or adding addresses whichever smaller and that gives you your distance from your health all right so let's go to it and uh, let's see what else we can find. Tens, elevens. Here's another ten float right here at 300. Change that one. We don't know what that is, but we can go ahead and mark it. I just mark it check. I'm going through here. Actually, let's make it a different number so we can keep up with it better. Let's make that 990. We make them all different numbers. Come on down some more. I'm sure these may have something to do with something. I don't know. You can play around and see. These numbers all mean something. Here, look, here's another float. Float 11. I can about guarantee that's going to be our dex. Our dexterity. Alright. I can about guarantee it. We'll put dexterity at 910. Alright. Go back out. Take a couple of swings. Move around a little bit just to make sure that it reads our address. Alright, go back to it. 
Look at that. 910, 990. So we know that other one was our magic. So let's go ahead and add that to the address list. Go back up to that, that check and we'll just label that magic. And we can add that one to the address list. So you can see already, we've already got almost the whole top row done. All right. And like I say, for your versions, these offsets may be different. It depends on what version you have. You have version 3, which this one still is version 3. Because I never updated it. Um, you'll just have to look and see. But they'll all be in that structure, just like you see right here. They might, they just might be a different offset or a little bit farther apart or something. But they'll all be here. Look, here's another float 10. We'll put check on that. And let's change that to 800. It's going down. I want to find that. Uh, this is what I like finding right here. Down here, this uh, main hand damage, off hand damage. I'm not sure where it's located, but I'm going to look for the 32s. I'm looking for 32 float, not byte. So if you see this right here, that's probably not it. 4 byte, 32. Here's another 4 byte, 32. I don't believe that's it. Here's another float 10. Check 2. Change that to just some obscure number. We'll say 930. Here's another 4 byte 32. That's not anything. Here's a float 100. That's possible. That's uh, something on down. Let me look. Uh, we got maximum focus. We got mana, stamina. So we know that's something. We'll just change that to a number. I'll change that to like 150 and put check three. But I want that main hand damage. That's your one. That's where you can have your one hit kills. You know, you just set those really high and you got one hit kill. Oh, take a look. 32 float right here at 780. That's got to be one of them. I'm gonna put that at check five. I'm going to put that up to uh, 9990. Oh, and here's another float 32. I'm going to put 9995. And we'll just label that check 6. All right, let's go back out. Take a few swings. Run around a little bit. All right, let's go back and take a look. See what we got going on here. Take a look at this. We found cunning at 9:30. Here's willpower. That's the one we labeled 800. Look at this. Main hand damage, off hand damage. So we know that this one right here, check six, is off hand damage. Put that to the address list. All right. Main hand damage. That was on up here, right here. Check five. We know that's our main hand damage. Add that to the list. So I hope this helped you. I, I really do. When you find the health address, and I got a whole separate video on how to find your health address, I will make sure to link that in the description. You'll see that your health address is also in here. I think it's on, it may be on down here a ways. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's see what our health is. I'm, I'm, I don't even know what it is yet. Uh, should be on here somewhere. It's 509. So what you do is you just look down the list at 509 or on up the list. Oh, take a look here, 1080. 509. I believe that's our health. Matter of fact, I know that's our health. So when you find your internal health address later on in the game, you can just use your health address. I'm going to add that to the address list. And this goes back to the couch sheet on how I showed you how to find health. I showed you two times in two different videos how to find health for this game. And I'll link both of those right here for you. Okay. 
So what you do is you take your health address and you can make your own calc sheet this way. All right, let's void that out. Any address that's smaller in health, you're gonna use your health address first. You always wanna put the bigger address in the calculator to find your distance, okay? So that's where you kinda of need to look at your hex values and know that hex counts zero through nine, then A through F. A is actually 10 in decimal. A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way up to 16. 10 to 16, okay? So we just look for the big to the smaller. We see main hand and off hand damage is smaller. So let's find those distances for this version. We're going to put in our health address minus the smaller address. So we put minus and then just paste that in there. Equals our distance is 900 from our health. Okay, so we see the dis distance between the health address and the main hand address is 900 difference okay so we put in when you go back to your normal game you'll just put in your normal address like this minus 900 make sure to put it on the correct value type float and there you go you got your own couch sheet you got your own distance you just get you a notepad or something and put health minus 900 equals main hand damage. Just keep doing it that way. You got your own count sheet for your version. It it works for any version. This method works for any version of Dragon Age Inquisition that you got. If you go take a look at some of my other videos called injection copies and pointers, I even made a pointer vid for this. You can actually go look up pointers for these where Cheat Engine will find your addresses for you. You can do injection copies, which will be a little difficult for this game because these are shared opcodes and there's lots of addresses going through that very same opcode. So you'll have to learn how to separate those out. But that's for more advanced coders and I got plenty of vids to show you how to do that. But if you just want to make your account sheet just specifically for this game, I've been asked a lot to please show how I did it this is how I did it, okay? Now, I was able to do it a lot quicker this time because I knew kind of what I was looking for back when I first made the couch sheet. I mean, it was just a bunch of trial and error. It took me a couple of days. But you just keep going down that die set data structure, do everything I showed you, look for float values, and you'll be fine, all right? Well, that's all I have time for today. So I'm going to go ahead and kick on out of here. If you have not uh, been to our Facebook channel, uh, the Cheat the Game Facebook page, please come check us out over there. We've got a lot of great game hackers to hang out there. Uh, they are A lot of them are a lot better than I am. They know their stuff. They're, they're happy to help you and answer questions. Also, my pals over at GuidedHacking.com. That's GuidedHacking.com. They go over C++, C Sharp, Ida Pro, all the way from beginner to advanced levels of game hacking as well, even into reverse engineering. Great bunch of people over there that know their stuff. Uh, you can find us in both places. We'd love to have you over at the Cheat the Game Facebook page. Please come join us. That's all i got time for today. I'm sorry this went on a little bit. There's just a lot for me to instruct you on on how I did this. Uh, you can uh, just use this as a guide to find your own values in this dissect data structure that I've been telling you about. You can find these differences. Just save them to a notepad. Go back to your normal game. Find your health code and boom. You can find every single one of these no matter what version you got. Okay? But well, you guys take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, doesn't mind cheating you. Take care. Thank you.